Hey everybody, Peshman Gademi here with Exotic Car Hacks and today we are going to be looking at is the new Rolls Royce Wraith a worthy hack? Now what you going to do? As you know and as you've been following, I am huge on buying cars that we can buy, drive, and then get out of without losing any money and in many cases actually make some money. So will the Wraith actually be a car that we can do that with? So let's first understand the Wraith as a car currently. When the car first came out, it was trending in the mid 300 hundred thousand dollars with some units going as high as almost four hundred thousand dollars in sticker now you have to understand that a four hundred thousand dollar Rolls Royce is just a bad idea because it's going to depreciate extremely hard just like a Rolls Royce Ghost and the Wraith offers a lot of really cool features first off it's a lot younger looking with just two doors instead of four and it sits for people comfortably it isn't without its faults but it is a much more attractive and aggressive car for younger people wanting to get into the Rolls Royce segment and so so for the longest time, many of you guys have asked me, will I be buying a Rolls and why should I be buying uh, a Wraith now rather than later? And so we're going to talk about if the Wraith is first off an incredible car or not and what there is that you should be aware of. And then two, we're going to also talk about the numbers. Does it make sense for someone right now to be buying a Wraith? Because for the majority of it, it seems like the Wraiths are getting very aggressive, trending anywhere from $160,000 to $190,000, which is a lot less than what a brand new one goes for. So let's go check out the car first and actually understand what we did here. So this is a 2014 Rolls Royce Wraith. Uh, this is an all white car, which in many cases, these cars come in two tone, meaning the top is a different color than the bottom. But I found that that resale does significantly better with a one color car. Now this car was modified and slightly lowered sitting on HRE wheels. Uh, but for the most part, this is a pretty standard Wraith with basically all of the same amenities you would find and a few more options. It's a well-loaded car and because I know many of you are going to wonder, it does not have the Starliner. And we're going to talk about why that's also something you need to consider on both sides, on the buy and on the sell. So it does not have the Starliner, but otherwise it is pretty loaded. It even has features such as this particular uh, lit up spirit of ecstasy. So at night this lights up and it looks really, really cool. And the white is always a better color for resale when it comes to Rolls Royces. And then of course the interior is also white on white, which provides uh, again, a very, very good look for a much younger uh, Rolls rather than uh, what you would consider to be an old man's Rolls. Now, most of the Wraiths, like all other Rolls Royces, come with the umbrellas on both sides, which is a pretty cool feature to have into the doors. But again, completely useless in most cases, unless you obviously need an umbrella. I typically live in sunny Florida. We don't really use that. But this car is not without its fault. And while it is a much better looking car than let's say a normal ghost because it's more exciting younger it is still extremely large and this causes a few issues so the first uh the first issue it mainly causes is that this door is humongous take a look at how far or how much space you need to equally open this door so first off that's horrible absolutely horrible and is a big big deal the other parts that are really horrible is that the car really doesn't do anything more than what a regular ghost does but yet it costs twice as much. You could buy a Ghost right now for about 100, but you can't buy a Wraith for anything under like 160 to 170, unless you buy an old beat up car or one with a lot of miles. So this door thing is a huge issue. And in addition to that, you really don't get much more than what you get with an older Ghost. And really like you get nothing more. In addition to that problem, as a general problem, the Rolls Royce brand has had some basic issues. And I wanna show you this. This is a Rolls Royce key. This is a BMW key. You notice something? They're exactly the same. You see, Rolls-Royce primarily uses BMW parts, which is fantastic and a horrible thing. It's fantastic in the sense that if things break down, then they're typically very, very cheap to fix. And I'll give you a good example. This latch right here broke down uh, when we bought the car and it needed to be fixed. And the part number for this latch starts with two sevens. If you look on your keypad, two sevens on a phone stand for R and R. So in other words, World Choice masks its part numbers away from BMW by adding the numbers seven and seven in front of them. That's how you know there's a counter BMW part somewhere without the sevens. And that's how easy it is for you to find out how to actually buy a BMW part and save quite a bit of money. Cost of the latch at the dealer, almost $1,700 plus install. Cost of the latch at outside the dealership at a BMW third-party store, $800. So again, a significant difference 
uh, in pricing for the exact same part. And I think that's really my biggest complaint with the Wraith as a car. It gives you status, but really not more than a Ghost does. And, it, and while it's sexy, I just can't justify double the price tag of a Ghost. So that's my initial review of the Wraith as a car. And while it sits for comfortably, it just doesn't do it better than a Ghost. And I just don't feel like it has as much appeal for twice the money. Now, don't get me wrong. It's very beautiful. I just don't think it's twice as beautiful. The other part is, is the Wraith the right car to hack? Now, once you look past the idea of what you're getting for the money, comes the idea of you deciding really a lot about, you know, should you be buying it? Are you going to lose money or not? And the reality is most people don't realize that once these cars depreciate, they kind of hold their based on miles and everything else. Now, the beauty of the Rolls Royce market, just like the Lamborghini market, is it's not as heavy on mileage like other exotics. Like Ferrari buyers are very picky about the miles on their cars. Rolls Royce and Lamborghini people are not. In other words, you're getting usually a better opportunity to drive the cars you own rather than actually watch them sit in the garage. And it seems to be the case for Porsches too. Porsche owners are very picky about the mileage on their cars. But Lambo and, and Rolls Royce still are not. So it gives you this ad additional little advantage that you can actually drive the car a little bit more than a typical exotic. You also have the benefit of BMW parts, which I said was good in some way, because obviously when it breaks down, it's A, cheaper, and B, it's more tested, so it doesn't break down as much. Part of the reason Lamborghini has had so much success with the Huracan has been that most of it is pretty much Audi-based. And part of the reason I think Rolls-Royce has had so much acceptance was that it is pretty much a 7 Series in disguise. And so comes the idea of values. Where are values going with the Wraith? So if we can learn anything from the Wraith market, it's by looking at the ghost market. Where was it? Where did it go? Where did it stop? The only difference is that we're really comparing a car that started in 2010 with one that started in 2014. So that's a little bit different. But to learn a little bit more about the Wraith market, all we have to do is analyze how the ghost market depreciated. All we have to do is take a look at 2014 and 2015 ghosts and see the percentage over depreciation that they've taken over the brand new cars and understand really where is this market going. Now we've seen the 14 and 15 go stabilize in the 130s uh, and with the 15s going at, really starting in the 150 range. So we know that's where the market's going to be but also we know that now the car is over five years old and the Wraith isn't yet there. So what does this tell us? Well my predictions are that the Wraith market is going to stabilize somewhere between 140 and 160k and so I think values currently are very hackable with some very good Good examples of cars being available in the 160s, especially in the lower 160s and high 150s. This gives you the opportunity not only to drive an incredible Rolls Royce, but also really not worry as much about the miles. So if you're going to be buying a Wraith, my suggestions are make sure you're buying a 14 or 15, make sure it has about or under 15,000 miles, and make sure you're paying under 165,000. Now, contrary to the Ghost with so many options for the back seats, the Wraith doesn't come that way. I'm going to show you some of the features in the car as we talk about it, but basically just remember that you're buying nothing more than a two-door Ghost. And while this may look exciting, it's just not as functional and doesn't do as well. And it costs you just about almost one and a half times, if not two times the price tag of a Ghost. And so all, overall, I recommend the Wraith, but in general, I would tell you just to be cautious if you trend that way, or at least test drive one, because it isn't that much of a sportier car than the Ghost. It just gives you a different look rather than feeling when actually getting into one. And so I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you want to understand more about the depth of how to get in and out of exotics without actually losing money or understand if the Wraith or any other exotic is the right car for you to be able to drive without losing any money uh, or worry about depreciation, worry about repairs or worry about insurance. If those things have always worried you when it comes to exotic cars, it's okay and it's very okay to be worried but the world has changed and I've put a free training for you at the into the uh, caption of this video so you can actually get out there and learn this process completely free. Uh, take the two-hour training and I'll catch you on the next exotic car action. Tchau, 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 tchau.